While we wait for the chance for rain here at home, a lot of focus has been on heavy rain falling on the West Coast. CBS 17 Storm Team meteorologist Rachel Dunsing explains just what's causing it. Over the weekend, torrential rain caused major flooding for many California communities, especially around the Bay Area. We saw images of cars being swept away, large trees down, and landslides, all thanks to the heavy rain. There's even more rain in the forecast for some of those same towns, which will bring, yes, beneficial rain to an area dealing with significant drought. But the ground is already saturated, meaning it won't take much for more trees to come down and more landslides to occur. But this rain coming in is thanks to something called an atmospheric river. So what is that? Well, an atmospheric river is just another name for a narrow band of high moisture content, usually coming in from the tropics, and in this case, the Pacific. As the band of moisture moves from west to east, it can interact with land, and in the U.S. West Coast case, that moisture is forced up the terrain, creating the opportunity for heavy rain. In this event impacting the West Coast, there's also a strong area of low pressure, which will create strong winds, increasing the chance of downed trees and power outages. And when it's all said and done, more than three inches of rain will fall from San Francisco northward, and that's just with the first event. There could be possibly more rain arriving even through the weekend. Now, there is good news for those of us here at home in central North Carolina. This amount of moisture typically does not move our way since it comes from the Pacific, and of course, we are closer to the Atlantic. But it has been unusually warm and muggy here recently, which will bring us our own chance for rain. But thankfully, not like what our friends and family are dealing with out west. In the studio, meteorologist Rachel Dunzing, CBS 17.